What's going on solopreneurs and entrepreneurs? Uh, so if you came here from my blog, fantastic. If you didn't, uh, there's a there's a link below that you can get to it. But the whole point of this video is to actually go through the basics of tracking revenue uh, or anything else from QuickBooks. I'm just going through a really quick process. The theory behind that is setting your goals is really important. Everybody knows that everybody sets goals and all that good stuff. Tracking them has just as much of an impact on the success of your goals as visualizing it and making sure you're doing one thing a day and, and all those other kind of cliche things. So make sure that you're tracking, uh, put it into some sort of visual as well. That's a huge thing. More on that in the blog post. However, uh, let me dive in. So this is going to be getting data from QuickBooks and making a very simple uh, goal tracking system. Okay, so let's dive in. Okay, so here we are. This is QuickBooks Online. Uh, there's an example account. Uh, I'm on the profit and loss by month uh, in the report section. Whatever goal you're tracking towards, uh, whatever months that you've done so far to get to that goal, select them up here. Um, and then once you have that, it'll be reflected down here. And then you export to Excel right here. So you just click export to Excel. I'm going to grab some different data, but it comes out looking like this. Okay, so this is the income statement, just in Excel format will look exactly the same as what you had in your QuickBooks that you downloaded. So now in the blog, I talk kind of the theory of get into a repeatable process, grab the data, put it into a pivot table, and then compare it against your goal. So we're going to do that live right here. Um, and using something that a lot of people use, of course, QuickBooks Online. So to start, we're going to get rid of these four top rows. Just right click, delete nothing fancy there and then in this cell a1 or what is now a1 we have to name it something I'm naming accounts you can call it whatever the name really doesn't matter um, but then you're gonna click and drag to get all the columns in here okay so now once you have that all the data is highlighted and we're, we're gonna make the pivot table so this is simply just insert pivot table it creates a new sheet that's fine click OK and boom now you've got all of your data in the bones of a pivot table. You can see all the individual months and the total. Um, we're going to use the total in this example. There's a lot of uh, good reasons and methods to use the individual months. I typically do that actually, but it kind of all works the same and it's just easier to use the total in some cases, especially if you're downloading something uh, that you want repeatable. You can just autofill this kind of total number. So you click and drag that into values, and then you're also gonna need the specific uh, account that we have. So unselect everything, and you can search in here, just TOT, to get to the total section, and then total income is the one we want. Check that box, and then boom, there you go. Total income of $357,000. Uh, you can change the number format to make it more legible if you want. Um, I like to get rid of the decimal places. So there is our clean looking $357,000 that we have in whatever time frame that we're looking at. And we're going to compare that to our goal. Let's say it's $500,000. Put that into currency as well. And then we're going to track the progress by simply doing uh, equals this grand total. Um, and if you update it in the same fashion every single time, this formula will never need to change. You divide that by the goal and then I'm going to change that into a percent form and boom 72% to your goal so there you go you just created a very basic very simple visualization of your goal and there's a whole lot of fun things you can do with it you can see it over time and you can trend it with a specific months if your goal is to buy a boat at the end of it you can see where you are in relation to uh, buying that boat for example um, a lot of the stuff that I do gets into a, a lot of KPIs and, and obviously tracking to budget and, and a whole lot of other things. And it does not have to look this fancy by any means because even something this fancy starts with this. So start here, give it a try. Any questions at all, let me know. Seriously, um, I love helping with this kind of stuff. It's why I 
run the business that I do. Um, but the highlight, of course, tracking to your goals is hugely, hugely important, whether it be revenue, leads, anything like that. Um, build some sort of process like this, and you'll be able to see the difference, I promise. Stay tracking, my friends.